Hello and welcome to Liberal Arts at Manchester Community College. I'm Professor Colleen Jennings, Vice President of Academic Affairs. And I'm Krista Zobel, um, English and Humanities Professor, Curriculum Writer and Program Design Collaborator. We are here to tell you about exciting changes to the Liberal Arts degree program as of fall 2024. Professor Zobel, why don't you start by giving us sort of the big picture? What's sort of the story behind the new degree? Yeah, um, I'm glad you used the word story, Professor Jennings, because that's exactly what it is. Um, we've designed a program that takes students on a journey following a particular narrative. Um, the basic storyline is this. Um, historically, liberal studies were a place for self-discovery, uh, personal growth, and prolonged vocational discernment. In more recent decades, higher education has been moving more and more toward the idea that mm -hmm. a college education is all about getting a job. Um, and while we do believe that job training is important, we also believe that a liberal arts program of study mm -hmm. should be about figuring out who am I? What's important to me? Mm -hmm. um, what do I have to offer? And where do I fit into this world? And that's exactly right. And here at MCC, we take a student-centered approach when we look at programs and design. So let's get specific about what this one looks like. For those of you entering the program anytime after fall 2024, you are automatically enrolled in the new degree program. So welcome, congratulations, we're psyched to have you. For those of you who are already enrolled in liberal arts, you really have two choices moving forward. One, you can finish out your liberal arts degree requirements according to the plan that you've already made with your advisor or you can change over to the new program by completing a change in the major form with academic advising. And what does kind of that all look like? First, any courses that you've completed up to this point will count toward your degree. Depending on what you've already taken, some of the requirements from that point forward if you move to the new degree will, will shift and change. Also, you will be invited to enroll in the new touchpoint courses that we think make up sort of the spine of the new liberal arts program. Professor Zobel, do you want to run us through those? Yeah, sure. So first of all, there's a brand new first year experience course specifically for liberal arts students. Um, if you've already taken FYE, you don't have to take it again. Um, but this is a part of the new program and it will introduce terminology and concepts that students will encounter again and again throughout the other touchpoint courses. The second course is Foundations in Liberal Arts Studies and it really is a foundation um, for the rest of your learning. The course begins by looking closely at how language functions and then it goes into the concept of a canon. Um, then it takes a deep dive into the ethics and the implications of artificial intelligence and all that that means. And then finally, it introduces and kind of demystifies the world of academic mm -hmm. writing. Um, the third course is called The Self, the Other, and the Arts, and it's a humanities course. Um, and it, it looks at the arts as a mirror through which we can gain insight into ourselves and a window through which to gain insight into the other. So it's all about self-awareness and empathy. And then the final course is called Community Scholarship and Profession. And this is where you as students really get to kind of pull it all together, um, reflecting on your own learning journey and connecting it concretely to your personal and professional development, both in the short term and the long term. Absolutely. And one final component of the new program is a digital portfolio. The portfolio's purpose is to create a place for you to compile your work and reflect upon your learning each step of the way. A portfolio can be a really valuable asset if you're transferring to a four-year institution. It's also a great thing to have on a job application or to include with your resume. Um, in keeping with sort of the narrative for this program, we're approaching the portfolio in a really unique way. Professor Zobel, do you want to tell us just a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. We're approaching the portfolio through the metaphor of a commonplace book. Um, and a commonplace book is a bit like a scrapbook or a travel log that humans have used for centuries to collect mementos of their experiences and to reflect on the significance of those experiences. So we're emphasizing those two aspects in the portfolio, the collecting and the reflecting. I love that. So where do we go from here? You can find details about the degree program options and updates on the MCC NH website. Click on academics and select programs from the dropdown. 
Academic advising is registering all new liberal arts students for their courses and can also assist current liberal arts students with ongoing registration and or filling out that change of major form. And for me, Professor Zobel, advising in the humanities faculty, we really look forward to connecting with you.